have you been beating yourself up because yet again this year you are not achieving your goals and you're feeling bad about it and you're just going back to your old ways well today I'm going to share some of the ways that I am actually doing this year that is going to put a change and it's going to make things different this year so one of those habits or changes or tips for you is to do your priorities first for me is to go to the market get things that i need to get and the top three must that are related to consequences so if i don't get this toilet paper my kids are not going to have any if they go to the restroom soon so those are the consequences so you need to do your must your top three avoid any distractions of anything else So my total was $26.10 for a hot sauce, a bag of beans, and toilet paper. What? I spent about five hours being a student today, investing in my own mental health, and that's what I did. So I got up at five really early. So now it's still the morning. I came over to get some toilet paper, and yeah, because we're totally out. So I hope my kids don't wake up soon. But anyway, so yeah, I've been learning a lot about myself, my mental health, and just really reflecting on my emotions and my past experiences and how that has shaped us into being who we are. So if you're questioning that as well, and you're trying to find out and reflect about yourself this year, especially, you know, towards putting investing in yourself so you can achieve those goals because that's what these videos are about being productive for 21 days and also a low cost spend challenge so spending less money on decor and things I really don't need and so right now today I went into the store and I was tempted to see other things at food for less even food stuff you know especially we're kind of hungry it's, it's getting close to lunchtime I tend to go and peruse over other stuff so today I stuck to my list of what I needed to buy and I was out in a jiffy. I had some hurdles to overcome like the carts weren't working and such and the beans are now four dollars and eight cents. What? When did beans get so expensive? Oh my goodness gracious. It's like barely gonna give us enough for two times but anyway that's how life is right now. So let's move on with our day and productivity. Okay friends, so just leaving food for less, I'm so tempted to go to the 99 because it's right over across the way, but I'm not going to do that because I need to go to Trader Joe's and my kids don't have any toilet paper when they wake up, so I need to do what I need to do first. First, priorities of the day, productivity, and then we can move on to having fun. You also have to be careful because you can distract yourself even at the market you know like looking at new products and things like that on this case today i was trying to pick up some new spaghetti so i had to look up a few items but if you're just perusing you're really wasting time for other things you need to get done so i didn't know which spaghetti to get one of the customers was so nice i started talking to her and she said that the best one that would hold up the sauce better is this one here so that's what i picked up so my bill was $37.83, but it says $57 because I did withdraw $20 for hubby's lunch. So that's what I spent at Trader Joe's today. You know, there was a time where I could not bypass the store. If I went through a store, I had to stop no matter what. Wow, it's amazing. I did it. I bypassed the Dollar Tree and I did not stop. Before I used to stop, even if I had groceries in the back of my car like I do now. So I am getting better at this. I'm so super excited. If I can do it, I know you can too. So I came straight home to get rid of these groceries, put them away. Now I'm not going to share everything because most of the things I buy all the time, but there are some things that I tend to buy that are new. I always like to try new products. Now, I have been increasing more of the oat milk because I can't drink the other milk that I was doing. I also bought a lime that I've never bought at Trader's and I want to do some kind of smoothie recipe. I also bought this gluten-free mac and cheese for my son because he can't really have a lot of processed foods anymore, but he really loves them. So once in a while, I'll still pick that up. Of course, we're trying to increase our veggies and fruit fruits intake now this almond butter i don't know how good or bad it is for you but i needed to get something so i did get that and it's low salt i did this is a new item for us is the brown eggs but these are the organic 
and so these are supposed to be better than the ones I usually buy. They're like a dollar more but I don't mind if it's for our health and also the spaghetti that I mentioned before. I hope that we like it but we have to get used to it. You know sometimes you try new items like this is new whole wheat organic bread. You know that usually if you've seen my videos we buy the white one but I want to transition over to the brown and, or the whole wheat. So that's what I'm doing. Of course avocados are always good for you so that's always a plus the good fats and so I'm really trying to learn about healthy nutrition not necessarily being on a diet but nutrition look at this let's eat chocolate together well make sure that that's dark chocolate <laughs> how cute are these stickers for valentine's day trader joe's always has the cutest little stickers now i don't always use them but i love picking them up when they're new like that so i'm starting off with my breakfast which is an omelet and an apple because i really truly got hungry i was craving something sweet so this really did the job Oh my god, I'm eating an apple. Unbelievable. Yep, I shocked myself by eating an apple. Never done it before. In a long time at least. Hey friends, so I'm going to call it a day for today. I know this vlog is going to be very short, but I'm just having a tough time. It is a really tough time. You guys know that my son got injured at the gym and I took him to the doctor. They did an x-ray and the results were not so good. He does not have a herniated disc, which is great, but um, there's other things that are more on the genetic side of things that we found out about and that could possibly be a complication later in life for him. He's a very young person, young adult, and I did not react well. I honestly felt like, I don't know, it's like the end of the world for parents when they receive some kind of health news about their children it is like the worst thing ever i just was crying myself out and it's tough it's tough being a parent and not being in control and being able to help them and to be able to fix their situations especially when it has to do with health when it has to do with health issues so it is what it is and i have faith in God that he's going to help us and I did talk to my older son which is I always call him a wise old man because he's always good and you know it's things that I already know but it helps to hear him sometimes and you know I've been learning to really just not live in the past or worry about the future and to just live in the moment in the present and that's what I'm going to do because it's still really hard though the very first time that they tell you something about health it's like a ton of bricks hits you but after a couple of hours or so you know you have a good cry what have you you have to look at life differently so if you are currently going through a situation like that just try to live in the present and work on things that you can control because the things you cannot control they're going to drive you crazy and especially if you're living in the in the future and worrying about the future there's nothing you can do so you know those are situations that we can only imagine in our minds that could or could not happen in the future so i'm going to stay on the side of having faith in god and really just hone in on what can i do to help my children to be as healthy as they can so that I can also be as healthy as I can so I can help them and in turn we can live life to its fullest our best life so I don't know where this day is going to take me if I'll be in the mood to record tomorrow or not I it's just you know I had to go to the restroom really bad because when they told me this news I was actually going to drive him the son that I'm talking about I was going to drive him to work and I did drive him to work so I explained to him because the doctor called us just right before we took him to work and so I explained to him what all this means and the situation and he's fine with it he's not having a hard time I think I'm the one that's having a hard time with it and I'm not going to talk about what the what the issue is but I may in the in the near future I don't know but in either case I drove him to work and I wasn't I was just like really down and not feeling good about it I, I couldn't even drive I had to park and so I went to Hobby Lobby because I really need to go to the restroom I guess you know thinking about all this stuff what I, what I was going through in the news it was just like I could not even function so I couldn't even notice that I had to go to the restroom so I finally went into the restroom at Hobby Lobby and 
I went to the decor and I really couldn't film. I was just like so down and I just was not focused. I didn't care about the decor. I didn't want to see it. It's just, you know, when things hit you, life hits you hard sometimes. But you've got to keep yourself strong and positive and attract good things. And that's what I'm going to focus on. And so, yeah, that's what's happening today. And this is my life today. Sometimes it affects our mental well-being. And this is what these productivities and 21 day challenges are about. Productivity, but also about honing in as to where our mental wellness is, our wellness and our health, and which is truly what matters the most. And happiness, happiness and organization comes when you take care of those things because if health and wellness are getting in the way it's harder to live your best life so you know health is the most important and that's what i'm focusing on i know that some of the videos that i'm making may not be as popular with some of you i'm still trying to focus on doing the decor videos so you can always watch just those when it's a shop with me a haul or a tour but as far as these videos it's just me it's just real life it's just me telling you the challenges that i'm going through so that hopefully together we can try to navigate this thing called life so anyway thank you guys so much for watching i will see you next time and stay tuned for the next video thanks for watching remember to live well healthy as healthy as you can and be happy as you can live in the present and be organized as well Thanks for watching, friends. So here is my little clip on what I saw at Hobby Lobby when I was there. I was in and out, was not into it. So I hope you forgive that I did not check any prices or really do such a great filming. But at least you get a glimpse of what I was seeing. Thank you guys so much. When times get tough, look towards the sky. You are in